Hello you guys, how are you doing? I am really excited because I think I made a breakthrough in my organizational skills. As you know, my studio is in ever-changing motion. It's like a train wreck around here because there's so many people who have signed up for these lovely watercolor subscription cards and yes, they are crazy, right? I love them. I have the best time with them and I know you guys do too, but it has made my studio a train wreck. So I have been spending the last couple of hours tonight after I got done with work trying to figure out some way to organize as we go into the video phase of everything. And here's what I came up with. So if you caught some of my previous videos, you know I added these and what these are, are really cool little makeup holders. So very similar to like something like this that you might see, right? These ones are stackable. And so I have a little bit of a dupe like putty, just kind of like holding them all together. And they make great holders for all of my main tubes. Now I have drawers and drawers of tubes at this point because I am pouring all of these wonderful watercolors for you guys into the monthly watercolor subscription, right? So that is the best thing because it is so much fun and you guys get to experience the watercolor with me. But now I needed something that was better than what I had because as you know, I have my traditional palettes, but my palettes are just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And here's the problem is now they're getting really heavy for me. And I find that there's not a lot of room on my studio for these great big old mumbo double decker, triple decker palettes. And they are wonderful. They really are. And I am still keeping this one because it's a double decker of all my granulating paints and I do love it. And I use it all the time for my reference and for painting. But when I'm in my studio, the problem is, is that there's not enough room on the table. So as you can see, there is only so much that you can do with your studio table. And I think a lot of you guys face the same challenge is you get all this paint and if you're a collector like I am of beautiful paints, lots of pigments and all kinds of really cool art supplies, sorry, that's my labeler. She's been very busy. Then you have to figure out a way to organize. And yes, it keeps going. Here's what I thought of. Now this is funny because I literally, I think I was just sitting there like trying to figure out what would be easier for me if I was painting in the studio. And I thought, well, I do sit in my chair, and when I sit in my chair, I usually go with something like this, right? So it's a sketchbook, and then I'll have one of these tins, which you do get in the watercolor subscription. So you get a tin, and you get paint. But then what happens with all of the paint? Well, for me personally, because I'm gonna go into video phase and we're doing a new, um, a really nice new course and a bunch of videos for YouTube, I need access to all the paints. I don't just want to have like one set of paint. I need to be able to pull whatever I have. And as I make more and more watercolor for myself, I want to make sure that I have all of my colors front and center. So here's what I thought was a really, really great way to do it. I found these makeup drawers and they come in sets. Now I have to say, I've been through a couple of different styles and some of them are really janky, right? You have to get a really nice quality one that's very thick plexiglass. If you don't, they will rattle and they will drive you nuts. <laughs> so I found this set that comes with, um, it comes with three of these cubes and then it comes with one of these cool trays. If you want to get the exact same ones, I actually got them on Amazon. So I can leave the links below so that you can go get this same set. I had to order three sets to do everything you see here. But as you can see, I was able to put all of the watercolors in here and I've got plenty of room for more. So the ones that I intend on having a lot of, I put in the larger drawers. And then the ones that maybe I'm kind of like really, um, picky about which colors I like. I put in smaller drawers, 
But at the same time, if you have a lot of watercolor and you want to expand, like this center drawer has double drawers. So whatever easier, you can actually just take this tray out, set it right on your, um, on your painting surface and just go ahead and paint right out of here. So this works for me and this is something I really love. I love the look of it. I like how clean it is. I can clean this out really easily and it's gonna work for me, for my studio, for my classes and for everything that I need to have access to. Now, of course, if I wanna take watercolor with me, I have my traditional like uh, beautiful plexiglass double palette with the magnets on it where I can use this on the studio or I can use it um, anywhere I want to, right? And then I have all of these nice little travel tins that come with my watercolor subscription. So I can put any of these watercolors in here and I'm good to go. But this is what I came up with for the studio. So I thought you might like to see it. It's a work in progress. I'm still filling it all in. But so far, here's what I have. I have the tubes that I just want on hand for when I do certain things where I need wet paint and tube paint. Those are gonna be right all in here. And I can build up too. I can keep going higher if I need to, but I don't think I will. And then down here, I have all of my watercolors um, in this top area here. I've actually put the pastels. So these are the Sennelier oil pastels, the metallic ones. I have Derwent charcoals, just so you can see how they all fit so nicely in here. And this actually came with it. It's like a jewelry liner but I kept it in so that the charcoals won't slide around and it's a great way to just kind of keep them in place. Um, if you're a Karen Dash lover, then your Karen Dash will fit perfectly in this size. I know, look how nice it is, right? It fits perfect. So I didn't go through these yet. I got a bunch of them on the sale so that I could show you guys the Karen Dash stuff that I like and choose. I, so I just selected some colors and got them. Um, Hmm, what else? So pastels, they were great. I have like these that I'm trying to decide. I haven't done a video on them yet, but I got them for Christmas and they are so beautiful. These are water soluble pastel painting sticks. So these actually have a beautiful tray that they come in. I don't know that I'm gonna take them out of this and put them in here just yet. It depends when I start to use them, if I really love them and I'm gonna be reaching for them all the time. Perhaps I will because there's two layers here and it would be kind of inconvenient and it would take up a lot of room. But at the same time right now, they're so shiny and new that I probably will just keep them in here and I will do a review first for you on just these when I start to play with them. I also have something that I got um, for my birthday last year. And you know what? I completely just found it. I forgot to open it. So this is a core, this is a big set. And I love core paints. They're beautiful. They are um, just really beautiful. So I haven't swatched these yet. I do have some of these already and I will do another video separate on this when I go to pour the paint and I'll show you what it's all about. And that is gonna go into this drawer right here with the rest of my core paints, which is right down there. So that's gonna go in there and that should be really fun. So we'll put this aside. If you wanna look over here, I'll show you what I've got going on. So one of my computers is there. The other one is the screen here. And I'm not gonna take you over to the right just yet because that's where I make paint and it's a freaking disaster area right now. <laughs> so probably better that I don't show it to you just yet until it looks a lot nicer. It would frighten you. I mean, like literally, if I just kind of scan over, can you kind of see all of the paint? There's literally this entire table is filled with buckets of paint. I know, it's crazy. For a painter, it's probably a dream come true, but for me, it's a little too messy for me to show it on video and then have to live with this forever. I got these also on Amazon, which I really love, and new brushes that just came into the store that I really have been having so much fun with. These are the angular brushes, and then we have a bunch of really, really beautiful. These are great for beginners. 
um, little pointed rounds and the points are amazing on these. They're at jackswatercolor.com. So this is another little piece that came with the set and this holds these mini palettes. So if you have a lot of these or you're starting to collect them, this is a great way to store them. This is one of the watercolor sets that I'm just releasing the landscaping set. You can see how these all fit in there really easily. Isn't it nice? It's like so organized. I feel like I really just did it up. You know what I mean? Like I did a good job. Over here, I have some immediate swatching pads and sketching. This is actually one of those jewelry stands and I use it because it keeps everything like nicely. You know what I mean? Like it hangs onto it like bookends and then I can hang my tape at the top. Can you see that? I really like that. I can keep clips on it and I can even keep uh, these little things um, on it. And then if we swing over here, this is more pieces that came with the set and I'm able to keep the liquid watercolors in that. There's also some drawers behind it so I can keep more palettes. There's areas down here. This is just a riser and a shelf. So these are like uh, screen risers and then a white shelf. This is a, um, that wood thing is actually a French champagne uh, wood, like the carton that the French champagne comes in. I actually save them. I love them for, I think they're so pretty and they have like uh, different printing on the sides of them. So anyway, I have another one that canisters with some of my larger brushes, some of the sketchbooks that I've made for different classes and yeah. And so just more studio area. Now my studio goes all the way around, but like I said, I'm just not going to show it off right now because I'm still in the process of cleaning for the month. And I just think, I just don't want it on video. <laughs> it's just a train wreck. But we did get everything out on time and I've been making paint like crazy. So it's all good. It'll clean up and everything will be fine and then I'll be happy. Anyway, I think this is really cool. You can see where this makes a whole difference in my life as far as being organized and having all the paint where I need it and just I can see it. Now what I did have before were the wood drawers and although they're nice, I did find that when I pull the wood drawers out, right, the wood drawers are really heavy and they would fall and then the paint didn't really fit in the wood drawers that well, not like it does in the clear drawers. The thing I love about the clear drawers is it allows the light to show through. So I'm, I'm able to kind of visually see, and I'm a very visual person. I think most artists are. So if something is put away behind something I can't see, I probably won't use it. But the fact that like I can see the charcoals, I can see the pastels, I can see the paint, I kind of like am drawn to picking out some. You know, and that's just better for me. I don't know if you need it like to be put away, but once it goes into a drawer and I can't see through the drawer, I probably will never pick it out again. Anyway, that's my brilliant studio for today. I think I'm really going to be excited about this and I've never seen anybody do this on YouTube. If you like it and you're thinking about doing it yourself, please let me know. I would love to hear your thoughts if I really hit something that is spectacular and I really feel it's totally for me and it's a great workable space. I'm happy with how clean it looks and that it lets light through like I said and the drawers are very like um, they're not as thick so they don't come too far forward on this table. I actually gained a ton of table space just by using it. Anyway, have a great day, guys. If you want to check out my watercolor, please go and see the store. I have tons of samples. We have the monthly subscription. Don't forget there's all kinds of watercolor waiting for you at jackswatercolor.com. And congratulations to you guys because the group on Facebook is now almost at 85,000 people. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe how quickly we are growing. Have a great one.